In this video, I'll briefly go through the mechanisms that protect us from losing proteins in the urine. This figure shows a small section of a capillary that constitutes a major part of our glomeruli. Highly specialized cells called the podocytes cover the outside of these capillaries. And here you clearly see the fantastic structure of the podocytes with its many finger-like processes that enable a filter function. This is a transverse section of the elements that constitute the filter between blood and urine. The inner layer is the capillary endothelium, which is characterized by fenestras that act as filters. The next layer is the glomerular basement membrane that constitutes both a physical barrier and also contains a negative charge that prevents proteins from passing through to the urine. The processes of the podocytes constitute the third layer, and this very unique three-layer structure comprises the barrier that protects us from losing proteins into the urine. Modern research has helped us to understand in much more detail which proteins are important for maintaining the fine structure of the renal filter. And why is this important? Well, one reason is that mutations in such proteins can cause very severe symptoms that are resistant to treatment and can lead to terminal kidney failure. The two most important proteins are nephrin, which connects neighboring podocytes and helps maintaining the architecture of the filter, and podocin, which is important for maintaining the intracellular structure. There are many more proteins involved in the function of the renal filters, and currently we test for more than 30 of such proteins when we search for mutations that destroy the filter. A few important facts are important to note if we want to understand diseases with proteinuria. Protein filtration through the glomerulus is dependent mainly upon the size and the shape of the protein. Also, it depends on the electrical charts, and most proteins carry a negative charge. Proteins larger than 40 kilodalton are retained almost completely, and as the most common plasma protein, albumin, is 69 kilodalton, this protein is usually fully retained. In contrast, small proteins can pass the filtration barrier, but are reabsorbed or degraded almost completely in the proximal tubules. The unique renal filter system is therefore a very efficient defense against loss of proteins and under normal circumstances, very few proteins escape into the urine. Therefore, persistent proteinuria is a sign of glomerular damage and kidney disease.